Welcome to Trevor Training. My name is Trevor and I'm the instructor for this training video. This video is the next installment in the Big IP training series. The topic for this video is SNAT. We are going to discuss what is SNAT, the reasons for SNAT, and the SNAT solution. Let's begin. A secure network address translation, or SNAT, is a translation of the source IP address of a packet within a connection of the Big IP system. The function of a SNAT is to force a remote node to send its reply back to the Big IP when it would typically not do so. SNATs are used for both inbound and outbound connections, however most commonly inbound. Reasons for SNAT Refer to the Reasons for SNAT example image below. This image outlines a typical load balanced environment and the reason why SNAT would be needed. 1. An outside client issues a request for a VIP on the F5 Big IP the request is routed through the infrastructure and points to the customer's edge firewall. 2. The firewall statically NATs the destination IP address of the connection and sends it to the destination of the VIP on the Big IP. 3. The Big IP analyzes the configuration of the VIP and uses the load balancing algorithm to select the pool member of Server B, which is located in the inside segment. 4. Server B receives the request, analyzes and processes the application layer content, and forms a response. The destination IP address is of the original client on the internet. Because Server B does not have a route for the internet client, it sends the request to its default gateway, which is the Edge Firewall. The Edge Firewall receives the response, analyzes the destination IP address field in the packet, and sees that it's a host on the internet. It forwards it out in that direction. The problem with this network communication is that the client on the internet is going to receive the response, however the source IP address is going to be of server B, not of the VIP. Since the internet client did not request the communication to server B, yet it received a response, the client will immediately drop that unknown response. Meanwhile, the client's connection request to the VIP will hang until it times out. SNAT Solution SNAT solves for the problem outlined earlier by forcing the remote server to respond directly back to the Big IP before the connection is forwarded out to the outside client. Please refer to the SNAT solution image below. 1. An outside client issues a request for the VIP on the F5 Big IP. The request is routed through the infrastructure and points to the customer's edge firewall. 2. The firewall statically NATs the destination IP address of the connection and sends it to the destination of the VIP on the Big IP. 3. The Big IP analyzes the configuration of the VIP and uses the load balancing algorithm to select the pool member of server B, which is located in the inside segment. The Big IP performs a SNAT on the source IP of the packet now, changing the source from the internet client to the Big IP. 4. Server B receives the request, analyzes and processes the application layer content, and forms a response. The destination IP address is of the Big IP. Because the server does not have a route to the Big IP, it sends the request to its default gateway, which is the Edge Firewall. The Edge Firewall receives the response, analyzes the destination IP address field in the packet, sees that it's for the Big IP, and since it has a directly connected route to it, it forwards it to the Big IP. 5. The Big IP receives the response from Server B, updates the source and destination IP address back to the original values, and forwards it to the gateway. 6. The Edge Firewall receives the response, analyzes the destination IP address field in the packet, sees that it's a host on the internet, and forwards it out that direction. Because SNAT causes Server B to send the response back through the Big IP, the internet client sees that the response came from the same address it sent a request to, and consequently accepts the response. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.